Hello, everybody. Anybody here? Uh, can you hear me? Hello? Uh, can you hear me? Okay, uh, well, let me go ahead and uh, start. Uh, basically, uh, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just kind of go over, uh, kind of show off some images uh, that I've taken. Uh, and it's basically kind of the same images that I showed the other night. If, I don't know if you've seen the video from the other night, but um, yeah, basically, I'm going to go ahead and show the images. Uh, Answering questions or responding to comments. Um, so, for, so feel free if you have any questions on either images or anything like that. Uh, just ask me and I'll go ahead and respond to that. Uh, the first image I want to kind of show is uh, from Grand Falls, and that's uh, Grand Falls here in Joplin, Missouri. Uh, this is actually a composite of. Uh, multiple images that I had to use uh, to actually get be able to process the image with full uh, lighting and everything. Uh, it was the image I actually photographed about a little over a year ago and um, it's kind of one of my favorite images and um, you know, just happened to be uh, at sunrise, uh, real good lighting, and then I uh, was able to get the, the, the image. Um, and like I said, it was actually a process uh, using a process called HDR, where you take a photograph of, one of the scene with transpo uh, exposed for the uh, sky that may be real bright, then taking some other images all the way up to photographing the maybe a real dark foreground and then combining all of those images maybe like two or three I think that was actually like three or four images that I had to then uh, compact together uh, in something like a Lightroom and that allowed me to then be able to show the, the whole scene uh, fully exposed with the proper lighting otherwise you would have either a real dark foreground or a bright sky uh, but that with that technique, you can actually photograph a scene 
and get the proper exposure throughout the scene. So, uh, next image is actually an older one of mine. Uh, actually, it was taken with an older camera, and it's a uh, Sandy Creek uh, cover bridge, uh, just outside of St. Louis. It's uh, actually a little park there, real neat park, um, and a uh, real neat bridge. Uh, it's actually one of only four uh, cover bridge, wooden cover bridges in Missouri still. Uh, the others are also up near, kind of like the central, northern, or northeast part of Missouri. Uh, but this one's just outside of uh, St. Louis and Hillsboro, actually. And um, I imagine it's pressure right now, if, uh, depending on the fall foliage. <clears throat> I imagine the scenery was probably there is really neat. Uh, but I'd also seen some pictures too of it in the wintertime and that. But that's uh, another one of mine there that I really uh, like. Uh, this next one is a picture I took at Watkins Woolen Mill um, State Park. Um, actually up just north of northeast of Kansas City and it's just a uh, picture of a pump with you can see a shed in the background um, this was actually taken the day of the solar eclipse that happened uh, just about three years ago and um, we were out there photographing uh, from the park uh, so we were able to get a uh, toll the total clips uh, up there and luckily it was overcast raining and but luckily just as the uh, clips was going starting to go on the rain stopped the um, clouds parted so we were able to see the clips and of course right after then that um, the, the total of the sort of clips that then clouded back up and I think it started raining again later on. But this is a state park. It's a real neat park. Uh, they have a visitor center. They also have a house uh, there, kind of like an old mansion. Uh, this is actually, this park was uh, actually used for a movie, uh, um, Ride with the Devil. It's a Civil War movie. Uh, it was made uh, about 10 years ago. And uh, they actually put film part of it uh, in this part, along with some other locations in Missouri and that. In fact, actually in one scene of that movie, you can actually see where uh, we were standing uh, to get pictures of the eclipse. But, but yeah, that's a real neat park. Um, and it was just happened to be real good. Get real good lighting and kind of got lucky that day to see the clips and everything. And uh, <clears throat> this uh, next uh, image is a uh, fireworks shot uh, from 4th of July about two years ago. And this was actually at Missouri Southern uh, here in Joplin, Missouri. Uh, we were actually standing where uh, there were some trees in between us and where the fireworks were being shot. And in fact, you can kind of see a little bit of the uh, trees there in the foreground. So it kind of got the four trees in the foreground and then the uh, fireworks itself. I actually, uh, what I did was I had the uh, shutter release. I was able to hold the um, frame open and the able was able to get multiple shots of, of multiple fireworks going off at the same time and it was just kind of trial and error to get uh, the right amount of uh, fireworks in the scene and was able to get real good colors out of that and um, was able to uh, get that shot and another one that especially would love to see on actually a metal print. And then, then this next one is uh, <clears throat> Reddings Mill Bridge here in uh, Joplin. 
it's now just basically for foot traffic only and they also got some foot benches set up and um, was, this was actually a sunrise again it was a, a composite kind of similar to the Grand Falls picture and it was just the right time of year right time of day and I was able to get where the sun was kind of shining through the uh, bridge itself a little bit there and um, this one was actually really t more tough to photograph than than the uh, Grand Falls picture the reason is with the sun it was actually glaring onto the lens so I actually had to do like I did with the Grand Falls uh, take multiple shots because the sky was coming in real bright but the foreground was real dark so I had to suppose like at least three images for um, one set of images then I had to t do the same thing again but I actually had to hold my hand up uh, th to kind of block the sun to keep from the glare but of course in doing so you could actually see my hand in the uh, the picture so what I did, ended up doing is took three more shots of the with my hand there to kind of block the ray, uh, the uh, flare, and then took all six images, uh, combined first three, and then combined this uh, next three images, and then took and just laid up on top of one on the other, and just kind of brushed out the glare part uh, from below. Yeah, I do have the rays coming through there. Was, like I said, it was just the uh, right time of the year uh, with the sun being right at the right level and um, also the time of the day too as well. And it, yeah, it took me a little while to kind of create, uh, process this image and actually get to what, what you see there um, do it, the issue with being with the flare and that. My uh, final image is uh, from Great Smokies Mountains uh, National Park, and uh, it's actually um, was uh, shot while standing on a bridge, and um, it was actually a long exposure. I think it was actually 25 seconds actually to for the exposure. Um, the Smoky Mountains are, of course, noted for uh, the over, um, fog and um, kind of the overcast and that. But when we were there about uh, four years ago, or just under four years ago, uh, they were having the fires in, through Tennessee and North Carolina, and so it was even more smokier than normal. In fact, a few days after we left, uh, fire the fire went through Gatlinburg to see so but but that really contributed to the uh, you can kind of feel the uh, yeah it's like he said uh, you can kind of feel the soft feel and um, and actually uh, um, can gives it like a, a smoky feel to it and I actually had this and actually all these images I have on my website uh, I actually have uh, through greenhairphoto.com which I'll put the uh, uh, link to the uh, my website uh, this image is actually under landscape and uh, uh, if you go to landscape on my website uh, this is actually 11 by 14 uh, canvas uh, gallery wrap uh, it's actually with the canvas gallery wraps they actually will have uh, hanger here at the top here that actually allows you to hang it. They'll actually also well, the wraps also go around all the way around. Uh, in the 11 by 14, that's about probably about this, a little bit bigger than a book, and that's what this size is. Um, and I actually you can purchase a smaller size. Um, Actually, let me pull up and I can actually see what sizes I have actually of that.
I also have, besides uh, the canvas uh, gallery wraps, I have three other, um, three different types of paper, photo, uh, metallic, and also uh, fine art paper. The fine art paper being the uh, more expensive of the three, but you do also have the option of uh, photo or metallic paper. Uh, we, I also have, um, where you can also purchase the prints on metal, which also will come with a, uh, on the back, will come with a hanger to hang on the wall. And also I also offer a acrylic, which I'll show you here a little bit in here in a minute. This, uh, this image I actually have um, in the small size uh, in the get, uh, canvas gallery wrap. I have uh, a 9 by 14 uh, and then also goes up to 12 by 18 and 15 by 23. And then, um, and then also besides the uh, canvas uh, gallery wraps, I have acrylic. In, which I have in two different sizes. The acrylic, if you don't know, it's basically where they take the image and they kind of uh, put it beneath like a plastic and it kind of gives like a glass, uh, like a picture or glass effect over the picture. And the uh, acrylic, this one doesn't have the hanger, but they're Acrylics I sell through my website, it actually will have a hanger to uh, much like the metal and canvas. Uh, the metal, the acrylic ones are it's like a wire. They'll actually be on the back. You can use that to hang on to the wall. Now this picture I don't have on my uh, for sale on my website, but um, but this kind of gives you a, a sample of what uh, acrylic will look like. And I have a quarter of an inch and a one sixteenth of an inch acrylic at different price levels. And um, one thing also too, um, I excite, decided to extend my fall sale uh, that I have been running. I'm actually running it to uh, the end of Sunday, this, this Sunday, November 1st, and you can actually get 20% off. and. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll actually put in the link to my website along with the coupon code they can use they can use at, at checkout and that will give you 20% off that's just for prints only um, but it will actually allow you to get a discount um, otherwise if you sign up for my newsletter uh, you can also get 15% off but um, you wouldn't be able to use both at the same time. And uh, I, I, I've thought about uh, offering photography classes and uh, it might be something I might do, especially once this pandemic's over. I might uh, actually consider that. Um, I've been wanting to try to maybe first sit down and uh, offer classes to some friends and that, and just uh, uh, do kind of like workshops. I know some photographers actually do that. They'll actually offer like a workshop where they meet at certain locations, um, either like a, a park or wherever. And uh, you can actually, um, um, they'll actually kind of go over and give tips and review and um, do different um, instructions as far as on that. And the waterfall, you mean the uh, one that I showed here, the, uh, the first one, that Grand Falls? Is that the waterfall you're talking about?
Yeah, because that, uh, that is uh, Grand Falls here in Joplin, Missouri. Uh, I've actually have photographed um, another waterfall down in Bella Vista, which I've got several images from there, uh, actually up on my website as well. The other one, uh, that's probably the, I mean, the uh, uh, one in... Actually, see if I pull up the image here on my what on my uh, cell phone here actually. The series of cascades on the well, is that the one on my website or? This one here, which I have on my website, uh, that one's actually in Arkansas. That's Bella Vista. Uh, there's the first. This, um, that one right there. So actually, this one here uh, that you, you see right here, uh, that's uh, in Bell Vista, Arkansas. That is actually um, part of park. Now, down if you go further down on the trail, you actually will see uh, uh, on the glass uh, yeah, uh, that one uh, on the uh, acrylic. That is actually uh, Dogwood Canyon. I don't actually have that one for sale on my website because that due due to being the park is actually owned by Bass Pro, so it's actually a private park. I've asked them if I uh, could sell, uh, but I haven't got approval to actually sell prints because I actually have multiple other images. They they actually have multiple uh, waterfalls there. Yeah, uh, is real neat park. It there is a prep entry fee to go into it. Uh, but um, in, that's uh, Dogwood Canyon, uh, just south of uh, Branson. And, um, but basically, uh, they have actually a visitor center there. Uh, they have uh, paved trails. Uh, they actually have, I think they used to do uh, weddings. I don't know if they still do, because uh, they do actually have a church. They have, and like I said, they have actually multiple waterfalls. Uh, they have a stream going through and they have like little smaller ones and then the really big ones like that one. Uh, there was, that, I think I've seen at least like three or four of the big ones like that, one in the park. Uh, there's an entry fee for the go in. There's also, a, they also have like tram rides. Uh, the park actually goes all the way down into Arkansas. Uh, you can either walk all the way down or they have a, a tram. Uh, takes you through there, but yeah, unfortunately, uh, um, I've been wanting to actually call them again, see if they'll let me actually sell those uh, images, because uh, I think they even have actually on the website uh, that the images can all be used for um, personal use only, but, um, but uh, besides that, uh, the ones there in Dogwood Canyon in the Grand Falls, uh, there was uh, the images also I was showing on my cell phone from uh, Tenure Creek, uh, which is in Bella Vista. 
Uh, you have the main one, and if you walk down a trail, there's actually kind of like a cascade as you um, go down. And that one um, image was actually in a uh, calendar. Uh, this image here was actually used for Arkansas calendar for last year. And I've actually had um, another one of my images in Missouri calendar. And uh, that's actually for our month of August uh, for Missouri. Uh, see me? And so. And then I've also photographed, I don't think I have actually for sale uh, on my main website, but I do have pictures from uh, from a waterfall down in Oklahoma as well, just uh, west of like uh, uh, Springdale and that too. But do you have any other questions or? I uh, haven't been there. Um, I've kind of been wanting to go to like uh, Glory Hole uh, down in Arkansas, um, especially since everybody talks about it. Uh, it'd be probably something to be doing in the spring, especially because most of the waterfalls usually are running the best in the spring if they're running at all. Um, there's actually a, another waterfall I want to see that there's actually a kind of remains of a old building right near the waterfall itself and we can kind of it has like a window and I kind of want to photograph it. I think that's believes I uh, believe it is in uh, some northern central part of Arkansas so, but uh, certainly would probably want to check out Rocky Falls as well. Any other questions or? Yeah, uh, like I said, I have uh, on my website, I have uh, for sale um, multiple images, uh, wildlife, wildlife uh, waterfalls. I have uh, infrared style infrared images and you know, all of them. Uh, you can meet, I have uh, for availability, I have uh, three different papers, uh, photo, which is the least expensive, metallic, and, um, and then also uh, fine art per, uh, paper, which is the more expensive. Uh, I have the canvas gallery root wraps, uh, like I sh showed here, uh, which will come with a hanger already on them, on the back. Uh, also, I have uh, metal available, again, with the hanger that allows you to hang up, and then uh, also the acrylic and the quarter inch and the sixteenth inch uh, plastic, and those also come with a hanger as well, and then I also have wood prints as well, and, um, and then I also have links to if you are looking into any merchandise, um, just click on on my website. Just click on merchandise, and that will take you to purchase your like mugs, um, and then our t-shirts and things like that. Uh, and then actually, I have a link specifically for mask. If you're looking for a mask, I have um, where you can order a mask with one of my images on there. And like I said, I have a uh, running until this uh, end of for this Sunday, November first. I uh, just use that coupon code, coupon code uh, OCT twenty, and that will give you twenty percent off um, for any prints uh, that you purchase. Again, it's just prints only. So. And uh, any other questions or?
also, uh, if you go to my website or if you go on Facebook, um, if you click on on the Facebook, if you click on um, underneath, uh, you can actually sign up for my email newsletter. Uh, or if you go to my website, uh, you can click on um, and actually sign up for a newsletter. Uh, I'll actually, because I plan to do some more um, these Facebook lives, make sure some other images, probably do more of like a, a slideshow on the screen, uh, sharing my uh, screen. And, and, uh, and what I'll do is I'll probably post it on Facebook, but probably will actually email, put in the, the email first. Uh, so if you sign up for my email list, you'll actually find out first. And uh, if you click on more, if you go to my Facebook page, uh, you can actually uh, uh, sign up there as well. And that will give you 15% uh, off if you uh, miss uh, or don't, or not able to take part of the 20% uh, off, you at least will get 15% off for a few days. So, yeah, actually I've um, gone up to Prairie State Park several times. Uh, it's been a while since I've gone up there, <clears throat> and uh, I think it wasn't the last time, but the same last time we, we actually did see the bison just as we were leaving. They were actually on the road, and I've gotten a few pictures of uh, uh, Perry State Park, um, which I don't have on my main website, but I probably will include on the link under listed over as other works, which I'll probably will add on uh, sometime next week and where I'll have actually images all from my Prairie State Park um, or the, the actually I'll take that back actually if you go to my main website if you go to infrared I actually have um, actually at least one uh, one image actually from Prairie State Park um, is a photograph of the bridge uh, going over the creek there, and um, and there was actually a pho photographed in infrared. Which you have, but I what I do is I actually use an infrared filter, which you put on, on the front of the lens, and that box that er everything but the infrared, and it requires really long exposures. But why you, when you shoot in black and white. It creates this royally where all the vegetation is white, and then like the sky will be almost like a pitch black in that. So, um, yeah, I've been wanting to go to uh, Diamond Diamond Grove. Uh, I had that some others mentioned that, um, yeah, especially in the spring with the uh, flowers. Um, a little bit more to go here. Speaking of which, flowers we've actually found. Fall crocus in the backyard actually still blooming. It was just out in the middle of the yard, <laughs> so I hope to maybe get some pictures of that tomorrow. And depending on the lighting and that, I might actually include that in, on my website as well. So. Uh, do you have any other questions or? appreciate everybody uh, getting on um, you, if you want to see this uh, uh, Facebook live again I'll have it on my website uh, Facebook page uh, I plan to actually do another one probably sometime next week uh, I'll actually like I said I'll actually um, uh, post it in the, uh, send the email f list first and then actually also post it on Facebook as well uh, yes, actually, uh, I photographed a little bit of um, Merrimack Caverns uh, probably before I really got into photography. And then also, I photographed uh, Talking Rocks uh, in Branson. And uh, then 2006, I went to, uh, to New Mexico, photographed uh, uh, 
Carlsbad Caverns, which was really neat because as a photographer, most like these cave tours, you can't really stop, uh, set up a tripod and take a picture of your time taking pictures and that. Whereas Carlsbad Caverns was actually uh, self-guided, so you could actually go down, uh, spend the day, that, um, and then come come up when you're done. And I was able to set up um, a tripod and be able to take pictures. Of course, I uh, when I went out to New Mexico, I, I packed my camera bag. <clears throat> and the uh, funny story is I go out to... Um, Actually, the first night I stopped at Amarillo, and somebody popped on my head. I forgot to pack a shirt release, but luckily I figured out how to uh, use the uh, self timer in the camera, well, where you can set up where it's when you press the button, it takes uh, ten six, ten seconds later. It like then takes the image. I was able to just use that for uh, when I was photographing the cave. Luckily, I didn't need really long exposures, but uh, another op opportunity I had was Onondaga Cave uh, up in Leesburg, Missouri. Uh, this, the state park, they have the Onondaga Cave and they have the Cathedral Cave. Uh, Cathedral Cave is more wild. They don't have it uh, really lit up. You have to actually take a trail up to the entrance. Uh, whereas Onondaga was right there at the, at the uh, visitor center, and it's all uh, lit up, much like uh, Merrimack Caverns or something. Uh, but uh, a couple years ago, or a few years ago, uh, they had where they could take a, um, um, a tour, and it was a photo, photo tour, and uh, they had the option year one or the other, or you could do both, and I ended up uh, doing both. And in the morning, we did the Cathedral Cave, and then on the in the afternoon after lunch. And uh, it turned out uh, where uh, the whole tour was just a tour guide uh, who was like a volunteer, and and then also. Uh, my dad and I, and that was it, just the three of us. And when we went first in the cathedral cave, there was nobody in the cave at all. Uh, so we had the cave to ourselves. Uh, by the time we were getting ready to leave, I think a tour group came through. Uh, now, on the cave, there was some tour groups going through, but um, once they went past, it was just, um, um, it was just, uh, us and then basically we were able to uh, uh, have basically almost the cave to ourselves and I actually got a few YouTube videos uh, or a few views on my YouTube uh, channel uh, which I'll, I can actually post uh, later on this evening uh, to my Facebook page um, basically where you can actually hear the sounds of the cave Sounds of the cave, just the water dripping, and you can hear it in the background, just really kind of getting the effect like uh, you're in the cave all by yourself. And that. So, yeah, I don't think I, when I went there, it was in August, so there was not any, um, in the prickly pear fruit, um, fruiting at the time, but um, and I didn't really hike too much on the trails there at Carlsbad I, uh, after I left. Carlsbad, I went to White Sands and then later to Bas del Apache uh, Wildlife Refuge, which was pretty neat. Um, unfortunately, it was in August, so I, weren't able, I wasn't able to see the snow geese, which had come migrate through, I think, also sandhill cranes and sometimes even the uh, hooping cranes will even come in during, there during winter. but. But again, it was August, uh, but there were still um, plenty of different birds like quail and um, heron, um, and then also a few roadrunners and that too. So, yeah. uh, anybody have any more questions or?
Uh, thank you for uh, uh, being on here. Um, if you have any questions, just email me or message me on Facebook. Uh, and I'll plan to probably do another one of these uh, again next week. So thank you for all of you. And have a good night.